In the last video, we showed you how to use Depth Map to add text behind an object. Here are three other creative ideas you can add to your next video. For this effect, the first thing to do is duplicate your clip. You can either Ctrl C, Ctrl V your clip, or just click on it using Alt and drag it into the side. After that, be sure to have Effects tab here enabled, and here in this open effects, search for Depth Map. Click and drag it into the video you pasted. Now, let's go here to the Effects tab of the video and be sure to have selected this best option rather than faster. Click in this box Invert. Now click in the box Adjustment Levels. Change the near limit until your subject gets as black as you can get without distorting the white around it. In the far limit, you will do the same idea, but this time as white as you can get. When you are finished, check this Post Processing box. You will get much finer details around the subject and the background as you can see here. Now, right-click at the clip with the depth map and select Render in place. Click in Render. Select the file location for the file and wait a little bit. Now, you can delete this depth map video from your timeline. Right-click at the other clip and select New Fusion Clip. Let's go to the Fusion page now. Click in this icon to add a transform node to everything. Here in this window, right-click at Center and select Modify with Shake. Here in Edges, select Mirror. Go to the Modifiers tab and set the smoothness to 3, the minimum to 0.4 and the maximum to 0.6. Look at this random seed a few times now. Let's go back to the Tools page again. Click in Settings and check the box of Motion Blur. Now, click in the Media Pool and click and drag the video you rendered earlier as a node. With none of the nodes selected, press Shift plus Spacebar at the same time and search for Bitmap. Here in this window, change the Alpha channel to Luminance. Now, connect the depth video into that and the bitmap into the transform as a mask. Click in the transform node, do the shortcut spacebar plus shift again, and search and add glow into the nodes. Now, here in this window, slide the shine threshold and spread until you find the video looks good enough. When you are finished, right click at gain and select modify with shake. Here in the modifiers tab, change the smoothness to 2 and set the maximum to 0.6 one more time. That's everything for the first effect. Let's go to the next one. Here with your video, go to the color page. Be sure to have this effects and node selected. Click in this magnifying lens and search for depth map. Add it in between these lines to add it like a node. Now, right click at the background with nothing selected and that node, corrector. Drag it into the lines again connected this blue alpha channels. Now, click in the depth map video and in the settings windows for depth map, do the same as the previous effect. Check if it is in the better quality, click in the invert box, change the far and near limit until you get some nice black and white colors and click in the post processing box. When everything is finished, just go to this blur icon. Be sure that you have selected this last node corrector that we've just added and now, just slide these bars all the way up to add the blur. If the selection is getting blurrier, do not worry. It will only apply to the background of the video because we checked on the invert box. This is it. Let's go to the final effect. This effect, go here at the color page, do the process of the previous video, add a depth map into the notes, check if the depth map it is in the better quality, and do not click in the invert box. If you click so, it will change the background so do not click on it. Then, click on the Adjust Map Levels, change the far and near limit until you get a white subject and a background as black as you can get. And, after you are finished, click in this Post Processing box. Now, let's create a composite node and add it into your composition. Here, you can start playing with some values, such as shadows, contrast, hue, and so much more. I'll leave mine black and white for now, and more contrasting shadows. That's everything for now, thanks for watching!